Well, hello YouTube, this is Waz148, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to survive the first night in Minecraft on Hardcore. So let's make our nice beautiful main Minecraft. That's as beautiful as it, as it gets. Uh, general structures on default art. Let's get right into it. Um, Minecraft isn't really too hard to understand. There's, I mean, after you've understood the, uh, what is it, the schematics for building things, it's really just finding. It's all it is is just scavenging, and I've started. Wh why do I always start in the worst areas possible? Like, I, maybe I should start using seeds. This is a little bit ridiculous. One second, my vent chat. Let me just get off that. Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Alright, let's try it again. I'm not gonna do that at all. Alright, let's try this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, trees. Jungle. I think it's jungle biome. Yes, it's jungle biome. Alright, and by biome in Minecraft, there are, they call it biomes. So there's the uh, kind of like the snowland biome, um, there's the jungle biome. The desert biome. There's all types of biomes, is what they call them. It's kind of like, you know, like, oh my goodness. It's kind of like just like different types of land. Alright, so you're going to want to start with just three blocks. And what I did there is I shift clicked on this. When I put the wood there, you shift click and it makes as many as it can. That is just a little time saving trick. So now that we have 12, we're just going to go ahead and make a crafting table, which is four. Alright. So now you drop your crafting table. And now we have this. And to make sticks, it's one, just like this. Just one, two. And you can do it here. You can do it here. You can do it wherever you want. So now we have sticks. Now we should make an axe so we can get wood faster, which is, I think you can do it like this too. Yeah. But I, you know, this looks more like the picture. Alright, so just put that at four. Now, as you can see, we're mining a bit faster. Or, we're chopping a bit faster. So, let's scavenge. Or, not scavenge. Let's chop faster. Give me some materials. Alright, I'm just going to pause the video and give me a whole crap ton of wood. Okay? Be right back. Alright, so I have 22. That kind of cut the whole tree. If you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's I'm trying to save time on these videos. I don't want 20 minute, 30 minute videos anymore. Alright, so now we have a decent amount of wood. So let's go ahead and make a pickaxe, which is just like this. You can't really mess it up because, you know, it's the same no matter what. So, pickaxe. So, throw it at you. And there's cows, sugar cane, that's what that is over there. Uh, oh, oh. I, I rarely take my crafting table, so I figure this is going to be a lot better than normal Minecraft Let's Plays. <laughs> I never take my goddamn crafting tables. I, I'll set them down, use them, and then just leave them. Just leave them there to die. And if you watch some regular Let's Plays that I'll be doing, you'll see crafting tables literally every single place in ever. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this is coal. As you can see, it's black and it looks like coal. But the first thing I always do is I just mine three cobblestone. This allows me to make a cobblestone pickaxe, or just a stone pickaxe, which is an upgraded version. And why aren't I getting achievements? If you guys want to um, try to play the game correctly, it's just easy to use achievements, right? It just kind of shows you how you know, what your progress is in the game to you get something like, you know, turn to cinder, enchanting, over, stuff like that. It's just uh, good to show your progress. Okay, so we get coal. Now, what is coal useful for? There's a number of things that coal will help you out with. Um, it won't make weapons, because you don't want charcoaly weapons. It makes, for instance, a torch. Or four torches per stick and coal. And I 
think, yeah, it's transferable. All right, so I always have it at eight, or that's seven, eight. All right, so place your torch. This will provide light when you're in caves, and it's very important. And let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh. All right. So this is a furnace. This is important if you are to smelt things. And to smelt things, you need um, you need coal. So you put coal and the um, the type of ore. So iron, gold, diamond, uh, all that kinds of ore they have. All right. Now, when it comes when it comes to the first night, there are three priorities in my mind, and that is house, bed, and food. That is usually the uh, three, especially when you're playing hardcore and you're starting out very slow. You know, you know what I mean. So let's just. And there looks to be no sheep around, so we're going to have to uh, just get through the night. And I probably have enough wood for a 5x5 five five maybe? Alright, so I need another stick. I need another stick. Okay, so this is a, let's use cobble. Oh wait, I have no cobblestone. Fantastic. Alright, so we have a shovel here, which was, you know, stick, stick, plank. Alright, so, you could say I have a type of OCD in Minecraft. I am very, very, very about perfect geometrical, uh, what's the word, geometrical perspective. I like it to be perfectly, like, the exact same, um, measurements block by block. That's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> My voice is getting crackly. Alright, um... Let's just... I'm probably gonna run out of wood. Okay. So what I... Oh. What I'm doing here is making a 5x5 five five house. Oh, come on. Get this together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. This is a quicker way to build, in my opinion. Just uh, get up and do two, 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 two. It's quicker than uh, the uh, normal way. Okay, so we have a five by five by four, I want to say. So one. Just one, two, three. All right, three. I guess if you count the floor, it'd be four. All right. So what I like to do, this is a personal uh, little preference. I like to put my my furnace and my crafting table right there. Just right along it. That's easier for me. Someone's Facebooking me. Let me just uh, get out of Facebook for a minute there. Okay. So... Here we are in the house. We need more wood because we need a door. And doors are very, very important. So let's go over here and grab a little bit of wood. And this is sugarcane. Important for pages. And let's see what else. Books, which isn't really important right now at all. I, books are important for when you, uh, get the enchanting table. It uh, allows you to get higher level enchants. As you can see right here is my little experience bar. As you kill something, let me see if I can kill something real fast. Hey, get over here. And I hit that. Alright. So, if we go over here and kill this. Oh my god. Alright. As you can see, that's level. Now I'm halfway to level one and you can uh, enchant your weapons and it takes that level away so very important when you're uh, going to fight your end game content <laughs> all right so now we have different types of wooden planks that bothers me okay oh 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 okay do 
store, place it here, and as you can see it's becoming night time, and uh, I guess I'll turn it back on when it becomes night time, because I have nothing else to do. Alright, uh, by the way, I just wanted to show you that if you jump and hit something it crits. This is important for combat when you're doing skeletons and uh, stuff like that. See, look. Did you see that little like sparkly effect? That's a crit. I just wanted to... I just wanted you to know that, you know, just for when you get into the game. Alright. Oh, I guess I shouldn't even stop recording. It's almost night time. So, let's get back to my house. What I was doing there, I was uh, farming cows. Uh, you know, getting leather and meat, which are both very important. Alright, so let's get into my house. Okay. So, as you can see here, I can finally show you what the furnace does. Look at it. So now th this is the fire. Every time it goes down, it resets and it takes another coal away. Right. Okay. So see how it's starting to go down? This is the transformation from steak to cooked steak. Or beef to steak. And leather. Let's get into this. Okay. Um, this is the schematics for um, types of clothing. So this is a leather tunic. Um, this is a helmet which you only need one of these, not two. And these are boots. And this is a helmet. I think I already showed you that. I didn't show you pants, that's why I didn't show you. See, that's pants. So we're just gonna go ahead and make the, uh, the highest level strength one, which is the chest. The more, uh, type of material, the uh, better usually the uh, the uh, armor is going to be. So the leather tunic gives you the most fraction of health, or armor. So as you can see now, oh, I have a little bit of armor. Those are, the, are those uh, little iron chest looking things are. When you have full, that would be diamond. If you had full diamond here, that would be all the way up there. And it absorbs a lot of damage. You maybe take half from mostly everything. And on the left, or right, is the uh, food. When you when it goes all the way down, you um, start getting hunger and you start losing your health quickly. And the way to fix this is to take yourself a juicy steak. Oh, juicy steak, and you eat it. Bam, full health. And I think it's a you have to stay within one. So if one gets eaten, you stop auto-regenerating health. So let's um, get hit by something. All right, let's go get hit by. There's two there. I don't like that. That's sketchy. Um, oh, I got an idea. <laughs> so as you can see here, ta-da! I'm regenerating health. <laughs> Zelda. Da -na -na -na. Oh wait, I want to make a chest and do that real fast. That'll make me um. This is a chest. Good for storing things. And there's nothing in there. We'll put a leather in there so it looks great. Yeah. So, night time. As you can see over there, if you can look very closely, you can see the skeleton, the zombie, and the creeper. Which is all you're going to see usually outdoors in the nighttime. You might see an enderman every now and then. Um, enderman, I'll just put a picture up. Uh, you probably just saw it. <laughs> it's a teleporting thing. Don't stare at it, please. And yeah, that's about surviving the first night. Stay inside your house at all times. And if a zombie breaks down your door, um, have a sword. Oh, I should tell you how to make a sword. That would be important to you. This is a sword. You can, uh, just like that. I like sword at one. And look at this. <sighs> and something you'd want to know. Alright, I'll teach you each one's. I'll teach you each enemy's um, strengths. And I'll probably die doing it. <laughs> so let's go over here first. Mm -hmm. To the... Oh, skeleton too. I forgot, I forgot about the spiders. This is a skeleton, not spider. Okay, so this is a creeper. As you can see, what it does is it lights up. And it blows up! Oh, I didn't blow up. Go, go, go! See? It blew up. 
And that is... Is it fucking... Is it writing it? What? What's going on? I... I... I, I as you can see, it's writing it, and now it's not writing it, and now it's just shooting me. So, the one thing you want to worry about these guys is they have ranged attacks, and I'm talking very fast, because that thing was fucking writing. I cannot believe that. that thing, did, you, did you guys see that? It was writing it. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to play some Zelda music when that happens. Well, probably not. And here's a chicken. Useless creature. One hit. <laughs> and zombies don't do anything. To be honest with you, they don't really do much. The only thing you have to worry about spiders is that um, they usually go faster than the other ones, so you have to really be careful when approaching a spider because they're pretty damn quick and they jump. So as you can see, they don't do squat. And that's about it for this video. See, armor helps. Armor helps all the time. And let's run back to my. That's why you don't leave the door open, guys. <laughs> I can't believe he got into it. Wait, he's stalking me? <gasps> oh, let's just pick this up. So that is your guide to the survival of the first night. Um, make sure you have food. Make sure you always have food on hand. Steak is usually the best way to go. Or you can go with raw chicken if that's what your um, thing is. As you can see, I have 22 now. So I'm going to be good for a while because it regenerates 3 to 4. I think something like that. 3 to 4 chicken legs. As it shows right there. Oh, well, this is the guide. I'm level 3. Good night, guys. Well, I am genuinely sorry about that. My family can't understand how to put speakers into a computer. Believe it or not, they don't know that green goes into green. They don't know that anymore. Or they never knew that. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to end it here. I pretty much won. <laughs> if you think about it. It's really nothing going on. So, uh, let's end the video with a nice little plan. I'll probably be doing a... Damn, I didn't record the arenas tonight. They were pretty dang awesome, though. It was me and a frost mage, and he ended up going fire. We were blowing shit up. I think we went 9-0 and before we lost one. But, I mean, we were only 1,200, so it's not very important. <laughs> so, uh, that's it. I mean, yeah, I am hoping to figure out something, some kind of music to use for these videos, because I'm tired of the crappy nothing. <laughs> Cause it's kind of stupid having nothing playing in the background. All right, that's it, guys. Um, subscribe. Thanks a lot. Your view counts. Thank you, guys. Peace. Was one parade out. S O Z gaming for life. Later. All right, guys. Um, I just wanted to say this real quick. I'm genuinely sorry about the audio errors happened. Uh, <laughs> I watched the video and it was loud as hell. Um, God, I need to just, like, write down something that tells me to, uh, quiet down. So, uh, sorry about that, YouTube. Waz148 with SOZ Gaming, out. Peace.